All right, you guys, what's up? So uh, this is another Ross Fine video that I will be getting into here in just a minute. But first, uh, as always, as I tried to, like all the other YouTubers out there, please click that like and subscribe button if you haven't done it already. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this video of Average Rob Runs. And I do have some other videos uh, that I haven't gotten edited yet. I haven't been able to get on my computer to do the editing the way that I want to uh, with my new camera, so on and so forth, uh, about some of the other uh, shoes that I have been currently working on. And as you can see, I'm in Florida and I'm wearing a hoodie. Yes, it was a relatively cold, as I'm sure a lot of you will say that it's never cold in Florida. Uh, but when I went out for a run this morning, it was... 38 degrees outside uh, where I live so not exactly Florida weather but if you saw what I wore when I went out running you'd say okay that just looks like a, a runner that's dressed for cool weather uh, but being that I'm inside my house and I'm relatively cool at the moment uh, I am just comfortable in my nice hoodie sweater uh, that I have here. So anyways, getting into the product in the shoe. This shoe, I'm not going to lie to you, I went for five mile run this morning, ran straight through, no brakes, tempo run, uh, which for me, because of my weight, because of my height, because of everything, is about uh, anywhere between about 8.15 to 8.30 a mile is a tempo run for me. Uh, I'm just going to go kind of through and what, what I usually do. So, so like an interval run is pretty much really, really fast pace for me, which is anywhere from 7.30 to 8 minutes a mile. Uh, but those are usually, I only do like a mile run at full pace, and then it's a stop, take a break for about a minute or two uh, to kind of catch my breath and everything, and then I do another run for a mile at about, again, 7.38 minutes a mile. Uh, that's, you know, kind of pushing myself, I'd say about 80% is what I'm going to go with about 80% of my effort, uh, into those type of runs. Uh, and so those are kind of my like interval threshold race day, I guess you could say type of runs, training runs, um, tempo runs for me, usually between eight minutes to eight thirty for me. Now everybody's going to be a little different. But for me, it's about 8, 8.30 is, is where mine is at. And then a easy day, recovery run day, is anywhere from about 8.45 and up. Uh, some days I'll run over 9. Some days will be 8.45. It, it depends on how I'm feeling that day, how much rest I had. So anyways, today was a tempo run day. Uh, I did 5 miles straight through with... Um, at about an eight, I think it averaged 825 a mile is what I averaged. And if, when I looked at my intervals between them, there was some, like one or two miles that were at 813 a mile. There was another mile that was about 820 a mile. And then a couple that were over 830 a mile. And that's because I really wasn't paying attention to how fast I was going at that time. It just felt like I was cruising. And so it averaged out to like 825 a mile is what it averaged out to. So anyways, I ran in this shoe today. Right here. So this is the Nike Odyssey React Flyknit 2 uh, that I ran in today. And I've actually ran in these quite a few times. These have about 35 miles on them right now. Um... And I'm going to kind of do, it's a little early for me to do a full review on it, but I feel like I've done enough that I, I have a good feel for this type of shoe and, and I'm very pleased with it. So I'm going to use this as my full review at 35 instead of 50. Uh, I, I might be calling it a little too soon, but we'll just get into it anyways. So, um, there's a bunch of videos, I think already on the internet about this shoe, the, the infinity uh, or I'm sorry, the Odyssey React Flyknit 2. There's a couple of videos already on the internet, so I'm going to get into just kind of the basics of the shoe, and then I'm going to get into where this shoe is good for, how does it run, so on and so forth. What does it feel like? Okay, so 
This, it says Flynet on it. Now let me, I don't want to deceive all of you yet on what they mean by Flynet on this because it is not a full Flynet shoe. It's not like the Epic React Flynet or the Infinity Run Flynets where it's full Flynet front to back. This is like half Flynet shoe. The front half and the tongue area is Flynet. But the back half is more like a traditional type of shoe material. Not mesh, but a different type of kind of... I don't, I'm hard to describe. But what we have in the toe box area all up here is this stretchy, nice fly knit material, which is super breathable. It's super comfortable. It locks down your foot. I love the tongue on this because it's so super stretchy and it is a gusseted tongue so it's connected right to the sides and it gives you that sock like feel uh when you're when you're putting it on so that's the one thing that i like about it and it locks itself down pretty well the the laces are almost there just as like a an extra securement to your foot uh as a lockdown for it so it doesn't flop out uh, but the, the fly knit, the, the knit material does a really good job. Honestly reminds me of my old, um, my old float ride run 2.0s, that same knit material, uh, over the, the top section, but that one had more of that knit material. It went almost all the way back to the heel collar area, uh, which is kind of, you know, a little different, but this, it's really just the front half of the shoe that's fly knit and it is super comfortable, it's super breathable, uh, really stretches and molds itself to your foot. I absolutely love the Flyknit material, it's awesome. Now, back here is just kind of a, a typical, traditional shoe type of material. It's breathable, it's like a breathable, semi-breathable, I should say, uh, material back here, and a nice padded heel collar. It's a little different than what you get on the uh, Infinity Run Flyknits. Uh, where it's just full fly knit and there's really no padding around the collar area whatsoever. This does have the padding. It does have a nice little uh, loop right here so you can uh, easily put on your your shoe. I mean, overall, I, I love the upper on it. It's not too tight. It, it molds to your foot really well. The collar area is comfortable. It has a really good lockdown to your foot. Uh, so you don't really have to tie the shoe like super tight. Uh, in order to make it comfortable. So that's something that I really, really like about this shoe. Um, now getting into the mid sole area, which is full react fly knit, or full react foam underneath. It's their typical react foam. It's not like the uh, react foam that's in the Pegasus 37s where it's a little bit denser of a foam. This one is very soft and you can see I mean, it's very, very soft. It's very plush underneath. I mean, you can just look at that. That is awesome. That's awesome. I love that about the React Foam is it's super absorbent to the energy and it's super comfortable. And this doesn't really have a lot of stack height to it. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it's a 24, or I'm sorry, 14 in the front stack height and then a 24 in the back. I might have to look that up again because I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do know that it, it's only a 10 and a half millimeter. I'm gonna round down on this one. It's a 10 millimeter drop, which is typical for Nike shoes uh, between the, the heel area and the toe area. So uh, 10 millimeter drop, super comfortable. Um, now Nike has this little plate right on the back here, this little TPU. Um, plastic, I guess you could say, uh, kind of clip, I guess you could say on the back here. In particular, this little dip right here, uh, what that's supposed to do is according to what Nike says, is it's supposed to add just a little bit of stability. So when you land, your foot kind of straightens itself up into a natural uh, pronation. So you're not constantly staying on one side of the shoe. It's supposed to help flex that heel, get it back aligned every time you land, and then help you roll forward, which I like that kind of stuff. I like having just a little bit of stability in the shoe. I don't like full stability shoes because usually they end up being heavy, but I do like having those little things that help just with a little stability through the gait cycle 
especially when you start getting into those higher mileage, like you really start to feel your body starting to wear down and having that little bit right there just really helps. Uh, a couple of things that I do like about this, it's pretty flexible, especially in that toe off area. I think they, they put the rubber underneath, I'll get to that here in a second, in the right spot. So you get a nice flex to it, but I just love the midsole on this shoe. It just has a, just enough, in my opinion, of that React foam underneath to give you a really nice soft cushion underneath the shoe uh, while you know maintaining a good structure uh, underneath. Like I said, five miles today at a tempo run pace in these shoes, that's pretty good. Um, but the beautiful thing is, is you can do a little bit more than that with this. Uh, underneath, this is the outsole right here. And as you can see, a lot of exposed foam underneath. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It actually helps because it reduces weight. You don't have all this rubber underneath, uh, having all this weight underneath your foot. So it reduces some of that weight and you feel it on the run. You feel it as your, your legs are able to kind of move a little bit more freely because it doesn't feel like there's all that weight underneath of them. Uh, and this does a really good job uh, of that. There's, there's just enough rubber in the heel for when you're, you heel strike um, that it absorbs some of that and, and doesn't wear out uh, in the heel area. And then there's just the right amount in the toe area and toe off area uh, as well. So when you're running, uh, you know exactly what, you know, what your body's doing. Um, I also like this middle line right here that's exposed foam. And that actually allows your, you know, kind of like a, a, I dare I say it, but like a pronation line, like what you see on a couple of the ASICs uh, models where it, you have this little area right in the center uh, in your toe area. And that just kind of helps your, your toe off kind of stay right in line. Uh, so you're, you're pronating properly as you're getting your toe off. It's those little things that you start thinking about with a shoe like this. Uh, that being said, it does have this dense, hard rubber uh, underneath. Not a whole lot of those like blocks or pills like what you see uh, on the Pegasus or the checkerboard type on the Pegasus or the pill type that's on the React Milers. Um, this is a very kind of, I would say lower profile, but harder rubber uh, underneath. And it's incredibly durable. I mean, I barely see, after 30 miles, I barely see any wear on these at all. Maybe a little bit in this heel corner right here from heel striking, but other than that, I barely notice any wear. And even on the exposed foam, I've got a little bit of wear right here, right in that toe off area. But in that midfoot area, this still looks great there's like really no wear at all in this midfoot area. So I'm very, very pleased by the construction and the durability of this React foam material. So overall, I love this shoe. It has become one of my favorite shoes. In fact, today is when I really noticed how good of a shoe it really is on that five mile run. Because when I started getting into a rhythm, and by rhythm, I mean my pace was actually slowing down into a comfortable run not a fast paced run where I really wasn't pu pushing myself. I was actually letting the shoe kind of do its work because if you notice, it's got this rocker design right here, okay? And this rocker design, when you land, it's supposed to help just roll that energy forward. You just roll that energy forward. And when you find that rhythm with this shoe, it is just so comfortable to just move. You're, you're just moving, you're just gliding. And it's so much, it's so enjoyable with this shoe um, that, you know, I noticed myself slowing my pace when I knew I was supposed to be tempo running, but I wasn't looking at my watch. I wasn't paying attention to the time. I was just listening to my music and just going for a run. And then it wasn't until I hit mile four that I looked at my watch and I said, oh my gosh, you know, my time has been slowing down. And uh, that's when I picked up the pace for the last mile. And, and picking up the pace is really easy because the shoe is, actually pretty light for a React shoe. It's a pretty lightweight shoe. I don't feel that much underneath my foot and it was just such a comfortable shoe to run in and the response of the React foam is actually, it's actually really good. It's not so super absorbent that it feels like you're just running through sand and there's no energy return to it. It actually feels like it has some good energy return. 
So I was very impressed with how the shoe was able to perform that even after that fourth mile when my body should start slowing down, I was able to pick up the pace again and continue moving forward. So that is something that I really like. So what is this shoe? Who is this shoe going to be good for? Well, this is gonna be good for somebody that wants to go a moderate distance, 5K, 10K, really good shoe. You could probably do a half marathon in this shoe. I really think it's that comfortable, to be honest with you. You could probably do a half marathon. I wouldn't recommend this for a full marathon shoe. I don't think there's enough stack height here, enough cushion here to really get you through a full marathon where your feet aren't going to kill you. Um, so that's as far as your distance is concerned. Types of running that you can do. Tempo days are obvious. I did that today in these shoes. They were super comfortable. Um, I've tried this shoe on threshold runs. It does okay. It's not the greatest, but it does okay. There's better shoes out there. This wouldn't be my first pick to go for a threshold type of run. Um, something that's maybe a little bit lighter, uh, maybe a little bit more road feel, maybe a little less um, stack height to it, uh, particularly in the rear, um, I think would be a better shoe for a threshold run than these. Uh, but you can do it. It's just, I wouldn't recommend it. I feel like this is a tempo day shoe. This is an easy day shoe. This is also great for recovery runs. So something that's just a short distance, nice, easy going run, great shoe. A, a steezy, so steady and easy, steezy day. Uh, where you're just kind of holding a steady pace that's not too much pressure on your body. Excellent shoe for that as well. Um, I, I, it's, it's a really good trainer shoe that can do a few things for you. It's a tempo day shoe. It's a easy day shoe. It's a moderate run, moderate mileage or moderate distance shoe. Uh, and it's a recovery run shoe. You can have this shoe do a lot for you. So um, as I said at the beginning, this was one that I found at Ross and I picked it up immediately because one, it's a React shoe. Anything that's a React shoe, I think is worth the money. Uh, but number two, flying it on it, huh? Um, so it was just it was just such a comfortable shoe. When I threw it on, I said, okay, let, let's give this a shot. It's a Nike, it's React, it's got everything you need. Let's give it a shot. Relatively inexpensive, found this at Ross by me for I think it was like $35 for these shoes. So I think that's a pretty darn good bargain for a shoe that I really, really like. So, uh, so I hope this has kind of been informative on you that if you are looking for a pair of running shoes that are going to be really, really good runners for some distance, some tempo, some trainings, wherever, um, this is an excellent buy, excellent purchase if you can find it. So uh, again, this is the Nike Odyssey React Fly Knit 2 that I picked up at Ross just a little bit ago, and I now have 35 miles on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click that like, subscribe button, and as always, enjoy the run.